The Stasi in Brussels just shut down an event with Nigel Farage and former UK Home Secretary Suella Braverman. I won't make any big discourse or anything. I just give notice and then yeah, don't come in. Okay. Uh, again, again, if you come here, okay, no, I don't come to your scene uh, to, uh, to give the decision. Okay, I'm, I'm done playing. Thank you. I have seen a succession of people get elected to Brussels, right, as MEPs, you know, on a very, very strong ticket, who within two years have changed their views. This, this is the third venue that they booked after two previous cancellations. Why can the so-called liberal left not debate the ideas? Why must they reach for censorship in order to challenge national conservatism? I wonder if it's because actually they'll find that the public stand against much of what they believe. The mayor in Brussels tweeted this. I issued an order from the mayor to ban the National Conservatism Conference event to guarantee public safety. In Etterbeek, Brussels City and St. Jose, the far right is not welcome. Yet again, the far right smear is used to censor those who believe in border controls, the nation state and small c conservative values. The police are outside the door as I speak. They will not let anybody else in. There are three police there. They have an order to close down this event, and when more police gather, that's exactly what they'll do. No alternative opinion allowed. This is the updated new form of communism. And you know what? If anything ever, ever made me think that Brexit was the right thing to do, it's the events here in Brussels today. This is absolutely extraordinary, but to be expected, these are the actions of a banana republic, not the so-called heart of European so-called democracy. And why the sodding hell do the police in Brussels look like they're starring in a Thunderbirds remake?